Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Trying Dutchman. So the winter slash Christmas sale just went live as well as the event. Um, we're going to do a quick overview of what I personally recommend to get. So we're starting off with one year premium, of course. This is 20 euros, 2000 gold basically for a full year, which is double the price of one month. So this is just a no brainer. Uh, personally, I just got this. Uh, I only had two days left. <laughs> so I just bought this. I think this is the best purchase you can do in any Guardian game, War Thunder or Enlisted to get that. So then we go, the second thing that you can get, in my opinion, if you still have gold, I just already did that. You can upgrade crews uh, from vehicles that you do not have yet. Uh, what I mean by that is, let's see over here, I got the KV, Ooh, hey, I just selected it, I thought, yeah, okay, whatever, so here you see I have 4 out of 5 crews, crew members, and a few minutes ago I only had one less, I had 3, and that means I didn't have the dedicated loader. Then you get a reload penalty, like a negative. It's longer than it's supposed to be stock. And you can even upgrade it further over here. If you get that, that's, in my opinion, that's a great skip. Because let's see, for example, over here, for 12 gold, I can skip one level. And then I can get a bit closer to the fifth member. But if you go over here, 12 gold will get you nothing. I mean, I don't have 12 gold now anymore, but it's 100. One gold is 100. So for 60, 600 gold, you can fix fix this stupid vehicle, which is not even premium or anything. Or you can boost your reload time. So I did that over here, and I did it over here. I was using the Sherman 76. This one. I only had three members, three crew members, no loader a few uh, minutes ago. So that's why I added the levels. I bought two levels, 12,000. If you have to grind this with stock vehicle and a negative reload, like this thing, this armor already sucks and the gun is mediocre when it's only facing Tiger 2s and stuff. And then if you even get like a six second reload penalty because you don't have to load it, it's awful. So I did it for that and I went over here and got an upgrade for this as well even though this one you know to upgrade it is 7000 not as much as the other one this one was already maxed out so yeah i would really recommend first to get premium time and then if you have gold or if you just want to get gold get the loader in the tank squad so then we go to the packs that you can buy so first we go over here to rank two battle rating two switch this because otherwise the lineup is not correct anymore now it's all two so this is the cheapest option that you have uh, for every country basically it's not amazing but it's definitely not bad it doesn't suck and it's better rating one and you don't get a better rating one assault squad over here because i'm pretty sure this is the medic squad yeah this is the medic you remove the tier one assault squad so if you want to have two submachine squads submachine gun squads at better rating one then you basically kind of need to buy this or you need to grind this one and equip it with level one which is also possible i did it like this this is how i did it uh, even though these are tier two i understand that but uh, i played tier two then uh, these ones are pretty good they the am ammunition just goes really quick because they have 21 rounds and it's a high rate of fire so it's just but clearing houses and stuff this is excellent then for the soviet no not for the soviet for the americans we have this one i'm pretty sure this one is no longer for sale because if i go over here it's gone so and they said they would remove it so i'm i mean this is a pretty good squad but uh, you cannot buy it anymore so what's the point you can either get this one i've heard and read a lot of people who really like this but the downside i don't buy premium vehicles because if someone else is using the vehicle slot in the game and he's good or he's just staying alive a long time you cannot use the stuff you bought which for me is just a major 
no no basically if i want to buy it i want to be able to use it always so they changed out the m3 squad with the m55 and the Sten. the Sten, i don't have the mark 3 one but i have the mark 2 one maxed out this one is pretty i like this one pretty good it's pretty good the rising i don't know about the difference between this one and the one from the tech tree but we can go more detailed try out a squad My magazine's Keep it on target reloading. a little bit if it's nearby. I don't like the horizontal, it just goes boom, 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 boom. So yeah, this one is not great. Out of these two, I would get honestly neither because these are just added. So these not on sale, not on sale. This one is on sale. I would personally, I would wait for the sorry, after hiccups for the next sale and then get this one because um, this one is just way better than this one and if you really want to get something for America right now on the lower tier get this one then we go over here I think that the squad I have over here yeah that's this one I just bought this like five minutes ago <laughs> uh, this over here it's not great uh, the recoil is really bad but it is a premium squad and it's oh, it was 400 gold or something that's like four euros four or five euros for a premium squad and i think slash hope that they will add a silver boost in the future as well so if you have a premium squad you don't only get more research points but also more silver boost and or more silver reward basically this one is so cheap i honestly just get it you get a good boost for researching why not? The weapons are rank 5. There's a lot of horizontal... Uh, how do you say that? Spread when you fire it. It goes like... Bap, 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 bap. So it's not definitely not easy. But it's, it's okay and it's premium. And this one is, in my opinion, in terms of weapons, I like this premium squad the most out of the, the budget ones. This one was also like five 600 gold. I'm not sure I bought this before the merge, but... This one, uh, the weapons are really good, um, in my opinion. Uh, this recoil is just so, uh, you spread and it all goes right in the body. This one is super easy to maintain on full uh, full auto. So out of the four premium squads, my... We, uh, the downside is that this is not a assault squad, so you cannot have a secondary weapon. And for those who are wondering, like over here, I can use secondaries but over here i cannot and you can change that at the upgrades you first need a lot of points to unlock it even though it says there's nothing you first have to get more points and when you reach that you can change this uh, either with a change selection or with gold and but once again you first need points and then you can change it from the back pad to the secondary so eventually uh, the next battle pass is going to be for me. I will get one of those change change the order thingies, the squad orders, change this. Um, and then I will add a secondary here. But yeah, TLDR, number one, I think after all, hmm, for me it still is this one, even though I cannot use a secondary. Uh, these guns are just the best and the simplest to use. Then second, I would go with these because they are really easy for close quarter combat. Then the third, I would go for these. Th they have a very high rate of fire. You can clear houses very easy, but you need to reload after every kill. Then last is these because of the, ho the, the horizontal spread. They just go <laughs> spread on this thing is insane. You really have to burst. Um, so that's it for the the, um, the the low squads basically. So recap, number one, buy premium time. Number two, buy loaders for your tank, really do that. And number three, buy the, the cheapest tier one squad. So the best things to buy from the shop depend on where you are in the research tree. But right now, the most important, the best value basically is when you go to the Soviet Union, we start here tier 2 you get this squad you use this squad all the way up to the kv1 which is a lot of grinding and you can get that for 600 
difficult in the battle pass. Uh, sure, you can buy a premium squad. It doesn't even show up here on any tank, so you can not even do that. If you go to battle pass, it shows up here unless you bought it. I bought it, so it doesn't show up here. So I think the best one to buy from gold is the KV-1. The IS-1 is all the way over here, so you need all of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You need this quad, and then you can buy this for 600 gold as well to use it. If you already are here, I would get this one, definitely. If you're only at better rating 1, 2, or 3, then don't buy the IS-1. You cannot use it. Then I would say just go buy the KV-1, which you can use with the T-50. You can also buy the T-50, but it's the fourth tank, so in my opinion, that's not really worth it. Um, then we go for the American tree. We're going to do a same kind of look. This squad is used all the way up to here, and then at tier two, you get the Crusader. So then we go, let's see, I thought, M10 GMC, more detailed, 76 so yeah this one is maybe the best actually depending on once again where your lineup is if all your weapons are tier 2 then don't go buy a tier 4 tank but you can unlock the tier 2 squad and then you can use this one so you can get a 76 which is quite good so personally i think i would got this one i got this one because i already have the jumbo if you don't have the jumbo and don't have tier 4 or 5 weapons then get the m10 for 600 gold then germany we go look at the squads once again let's see i have to get this quad tier 2 and i can use up to the panzer h so if you go to shop you can buy this one the f2 that is this one you get the longer not the longest but the longer 75 you can see over here this one has the short gun <laughs> this one has the longer it's way better over here i think this one is the best to buy tier 3 uh, better rating 3 it's the same as this one but it has a slightly shorter gun this one has 48 calibers and this one has 43 calibers so it's a bit shorter but the best one yeah i think the best one to buy you can unlock this tier 2 you can use this quad and then you can use tier 3 tank and if you want to get the panther or the tiger you can i mean you can do that you can buy them over here but then you will need the higher squads um, like this one so once again you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tanks to unlock, to be able to use the Tiger or the Panther. So beware of that. Then last we go to Japan. Don't buy anything. Sucks, 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 sucks. The only somewhat decent tank for Japan right now is the this one it gets the 57 millimeter gun cannon which is okay then lastly we have the starter packs personally right now guys these are just new they are five euros next sale they will be 50 percent off for just 250 they're already not a bad deal five euros 300 gold three days premium a weapon and a soldier so they're already not terrible value me personally i will wait until next sale and then i will get them for half because this there's no urgency really so you can do this if you want personally i will wait then yeah all of the highest stuff guys well, it really depends on where you are in the tree if you only have tier one two or three don't go by rank five uh tier five squads it's just you will not have a lot of fun all in all that's it that's my advice thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye